We are often faced with the question, when does water hammer become an issue for your plant installation, together with a submersible pump? And I would say it's a general rule is when you have relatively long discharge pipelines uh, with a relatively small pipe diameter, then we have the highest kinetic energy in the system, uh, which means a high rate uh, of the moving mass. And you have to accelerate this mass when you start the pump and you have to decelerate this when you stop the pump, even during normal situation, situations during the day. And uh, as you can see, we do this often with a soft start and stop when we talk about lower power rates. And we, we use the star delta method when we go up for higher power rates. But still, there may, we may face a plant where we, we have to add some additional feature. And uh, this shows how it is done usually. You take a tank uh, with a pre-stress of the air about 70% of the, of the pumping pressure. And you just put it after the pump well head in order to have uh, the most effective dampening here. In order to mitigate the water hammer issues, it's even smarter if you include a variable speed drive in your system, uh, uh, for CUE. And uh, this setup is exactly what you can see behind me in these uh, small pump stations. And uh, I would like to show you this now. So what we can see inside this pump station is, uh, here's the pump below, bringing up the water, we have the vacuum breaker here. Then we can see there is a flow meter. And uh, after that, we have a pressure sensor. And here is a valve, manual valve. And actually, you can see here is a small tank. But it's important to mention that uh, in this case, we also have a variable speed drive. And uh, with this device, we can actually adapt our start and stop function during normal operating. And this will significantly reduce the number of load cycles on our pipeline. So when we have a variable speed drive, uh, you can ask why do we still need a tank then in the system? Uh, because we do have a, a electrical dampening here. But uh, what happens if we have a power failure uh, we can face a situation where uh, the variable speed drive is not working properly. And then uh, it's mandatory to have a backup system here in the pipeline. Uh, the tank itself can be much smaller because we only talk about a few events in the lifetime of the system. But uh, for these events, we still need to have a protection device. There are several different ways of how to overcome a water hammer in your system. And what I showed to you in this pumping station is actually a very nice way of how to mitigate. It's a, a combinate, combinated solution between a variable speed drive and a rather small tank.